Installing a fine Alico rolling track library ladder is a straightforward process using basic tools. However, there are several tips and techniques that are important, so please watch all of this short video before beginning the installation. First, let's review the parts list. A custom Alico rolling or hooked ladder, track sections with curves if specified, mounting brackets, either vertical mount or horizontal shelf mount, mounting screws, and end stop assembly and end cap. You will need the following tools to complete the job. Measuring tape, marking pencil, rubber mallet, power drill with 1 8 inch drill bit, and a Phillips screwdriver or bit. Step 1. Measure. Alico rolling or hook ladders are easy to install. The ladder assemblies come pre-assembled and ready to mount on the track. All tracks should be set at the vertical elevation from the floor to the center line of the track that was specified as shown here. The rolling or hooked ladder assembly was manufactured to suit this dimension. Step 2. Mark holes. Center and hold the bracket against the mounting point and use a pencil or marker to mark where the holes will be drilled. For bracket and hole measurements, refer to the diagram shown here or on page 7 of the installation instructions. The maximum horizontal spacing between attachments or mounting brackets is not to exceed 48 inches for steel track. Note, there must be a minimum of 24 inches on one end of the track in order to mount the ladder on the track. For tracks that go wall to wall, you will have to mount the ladder before installing the last piece of track. We'll show you in just a minute. Step 3. Prep Track and Brackets The ladder track requires vertical brackets for either fascia or vertical upright mounting, or horizontal brackets for fixed shelf mounting. For fixed shelf mounting, carefully drive the brackets to desired location, not to exceed 48 inches apart. For vertical uprights, drive brackets to align with the center of each upright as shown here. A rubber mallet is preferred to prevent denting or marring the parts. Step 4. Drill holes and attach mounting brackets. Drill the bracket mounting holes using a 1 8 inch drill bit. Lift the track with attached brackets and hold in place, aligned with the drilled holes on the vertical uprights as shown in this example. Note, this step usually requires two people. Tightly secure the brackets with the wood screws that are provided. Remember, vertical or horizontal mounting brackets must not exceed 48 inches apart. Step 5. Prep and mount curved track if using. Carefully drive the brackets on each end of the curved section using a rubber mallet. Mount the track with brackets to the marked and drilled location and secure the brackets with the wood screws that are provided. Note, curves require two brackets on each end. Step 6. Placing rolling ladder on track. Place the ladder in the vertical position against one end of the track. Lift the ladder and insert track between the two roller assemblies. Slide the ladder onto track and lower the ladder. Note, the ladder roller assemblies cannot be disassembled. For wall-to-wall -wall tracks, you have to install the ladder before mounting the last section of track and end stop. Step 7. End stop and cap installation. Roll the ladder as close to the end of the track as you need it to go and mark the track. Drill a hole through the track slightly larger than the diameter of the provided 2.5 inch carriage bolt and install assembly as shown here. Note, end stops must be installed at each end of the track or runs of track. Finally, place the end caps against the ends of the track and press or tap into place. Step 8. Ladders with J-hooks. Place the ladder in vertical position against the track. Lift the ladder to position J-hook upper assembly over top of track, then lower the ladder. The ladder can be pulled out at bottom to the 80 degrees climbing position and slid along the track once the end stops have been installed. 
It's important to note that end stops for J-hook ladders must be mounted horizontally off the track, as opposed to vertically, as shown here. One more thing. All rolling ladders need a little help on curved sections of track. First, lift the ladder slightly off the floor, and then push or pull it through the curve. That's it. Let's review a few ladder safety tips. You should always maintain three points of contact when climbing any ladder, rolling or otherwise. Always hold the dowel at the top of the ladder when reaching for an item. Do not attempt to move the ladder side to side while standing on it. Always move the ladder to a new position to avoid overreaching. For questions and more information, contact an Alico Customer Service Specialist at 888-310-7040.